Hello, welcome back. With my review, I will be reviewing Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. And with this movie, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Owl, and Tigger decide to take the fight to the town of Ashdown, home of Christopher, Ro Christopher Robin, leaving a bloody troll of death and mayhem in their wake. And that's a quick synopsis of the movie. The movie isn't really about much, as you can tell. This is, a, this is a sequel to Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey that came out last year. And in this movie, Winnie the Pooh and the other gang, they want revenge. They don't want the humans getting to them. They want to kill everyone, as the synopsis kind of said. And this movie, this movie, if you like dumb, dumb horror movies, this movie is the right movie for you. It doesn't take itself too seriously. The the major but the bud the imp the budget to the movie is way larger from compared to the last movie. I think the last movie only had fifty thousand dollar budget. This movie has a million, which is a lot. With it's not it's not a lot in movie terms in movie terms, but compared to the last one, it's a big big improvement because with this movie they have instead of wearing a uh, Instead of wearing like uh, cheap crappy masks, they have they use actual prosthetics, and the prosthetics look cool. the The CGI is there is CGI implemented into some of the scenes in the movies and in, in the movie, and it does look a little wonky. It looks like sometimes it looks like PS2 graphics, but I get that because they were restricted with the budget. Some of the kills are really creative too, with the way with the way they get killed. But some of the complaints are that the kills are um usually close ups and are and are really dark, darkly lit. Again, I'm, I assume it's probably from the restriction of the budget. And in this movie, it's kind of similar to Five Nights at Freddy's, which, which came out last year, which I didn't review because I didn't have a channel at that time. But Christopher Robbins also trying to figure out what happened to his brother, and uh, and uh, what happened to the guy that killed him. Blah blah blah. This movie reminds you of those like like cheesy movies like Leprechaun and uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So if you like those movies, you're gonna get enjoyment out of this. I don't really have a lot to say about the movie. All right. With that being said. I know they're trying to make a, a twisted childhood universe with movies and following that trend they have lineups for Pinocchio, Peter Pan and a Bambi movie and they might have another Winnie the Pooh movie after this but they're building up to a, to a, um, a team up, a horror team up movie named the Pooniverse which in concept looks fu looks it looks silly and obviously i would be willing to check it out i didn't i didn't really want to watch this movie but i kept hearing so much buzz about it online that i just couldn't help myself i had to watch it and i don't regret it like i really don't it's nothing amazing obviously it, it doesn't take itself super seriously compared to the last movie but I actually kind of like the idea of all these like childhood and twisted evil monsters like Bambi or Peter Pan or Pinocchio teaming up with like Pooh and the animals from 100 Acre Woods. It reminds me of movies like Alien vs Predator or Freddy vs Jason. But anyways, that's that's all my review is going to be. It's just a short little review I wanted to make. I give this movie 2 out of 5 stars. But anyways, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching my movie review. If you tell me what you think in the comments of the movie, please subscribe. Because of me. Oh, hello there. Would you like to die? Oh! Winnie the Pooh! Winnie the Pooh!